All right, Shalom. 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 Hey, first and foremost, we want to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Bashem, Kadosh. Double honor to the true leaders of the nation of Israel in these last days, Great Millstone, also known as GMS. And salutation to the Most High's men in the four corners of the earth, pushing word of sincerity and truth. And Shalom to the sisters out there that, that support and subscribe wholeheartedly to the message of deliverance and salvation of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai. This is a GMS Camp, Mississippi. Uh, we got a topic today going into anger, going into wrath. We're going to start with the book of Ephesians chapter 4. Yeah, Ephesians uh, chapter 4 and verse 24. And that ye put on the new man, which after the Most High is created in righteousness and true holiness. Hey, so converting or being converted into this truth, you put off the old man, you put off the old nature. Whatever things that you pretty much became accustomed to, you have to... Set all that to the side, become a new creature in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. After you become that new creature, you, you can pick and choose those particular great traits or great characteristics that you may have had before you came into the truth. Those, you know, some particular uh, mm -hmm. uh, personality traits that you have that'll be beneficial to your spiritual person. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Ephesians 4.25, wherefore, putting away lying. So putting away lying? Yeah. Speak every man truth with his neighbor. So speak every man truth toward his brother. Don't go out lying to your brother. Go ahead. For we are members one of another. Mm -hmm. Verse 26, be ye angry and sin not. So the scripture said, be ye angry and sin not. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath, meaning what? Don't let that languor linger until the next day, right. you know? Have your reconcilable differences reconcile a hey, before you lay upon your bed and all of those different emotions be, uh, uh, begin to manifest themselves. Now, after they simmer and simmer and simmer, they do what? They build up. So now, the, the particular one issue has turned into two. That, that those two issues, you have doubled and you made them four because you allow time to, to, to go on without reconciling the particular issue that occurred. Now, this isn't just an issue with the brother. This is anger, period, in itself, when you deal with anybody on the planet, you know? Hey, because that particular rage, it builds up inside of you, and it, 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 it takes your energy, it takes your spiritual self, and it takes your mind, because now you are consumed with being angry, for one, and then now you're thinking of ways to get back. You have to get placed onto anger. Go ahead, I got a little for you, bro. Ecclesiasticus 28 and 12. If thou blow the spark, it shall burn. So if thou blow the spark, it shall burn because what? It, it's, it's now become oxidated yep. and you've made it greater. Go ahead. If thou spit upon it, it shall be quenched. If you spit upon it, it shall be quenched. Going back into what? Reconciling and not allowing mm -hmm. your anger to linger until the next day. That's right. Go ahead. And both these come out of thy mouth. And both these come out of thy mouth. And how so? Because also the scripture says what? That life and death are in the power of the tongue. Yes, there you go. Hey, because there even you go. anger, anger and rage, you can use it inside your household. You can use it on the job. You, you can use it out in the public scene. You know, a lot of times, well, you know what? Give me that in Ecclesiastes. Okay, we got it, bro. Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 7. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. So surely oppression maketh the wise man mad. So you got d double anger. Mm -hmm. You got anger in the spiritual self, which is oppression, because now, why? Because now you know the truth. Mm -hmm. The scripture said, knowing the truth, the truth shall set you free right. to a certain extent. Because now you're still under the blockade of not having those things that are written for you, right? Mm -hmm. And it makes you angry. Mm -hmm. Seeing this man that's supposed to be beneath you, above you, that makes you angry. Seeing the affliction of your people makes you angry. Mm -hmm. Seeing that the things happen in your day-to-day -day life to where you are completely dumped on by civilization makes you angry. The Heavenly Father not sending his son back at this particular po po point in time, it makes you angry that's right. because you're tarrying and you're waiting on mm -hmm. that day, man. So it uh, anger affects your spiritual being. Right. Anger affects your physical being. That's right. And because in your day to day life, you have to balance the two. Mm -hmm. So, where does it go? It's almost insane to be asked not to be mad. Right. It's almost insane to tell somebody, don't be angry, don't mm -hmm. be upset. Mm -hmm. 
when every single day of your life you see wickedness. Every single day of your life somebody's coming against you. Mm -hmm. But you got to understand that it's all spirits and it's all principalities. Yeah. Whether it's through your parents, right. whether it's through your co-workers, mm -hmm. whether it's whom you call a brother, mm -hmm. a family member, or whether it's whom you call your mate or significant other. Right. Satan works in different ways and avenues to hinder your spiritual self. Okay. So you have to give place unto wrath. You have to give place unto anger. Right. The scriptures don't tell you not to be angry. Right. Right. The scripture says, be ye angry and sin not. Right. That's right. So right. it goes into that particular perfect balance. Mm -hmm. You got some more in it, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 a little more? You got a precept? It says, okay. hold it real quick. Okay, I'll bring yours out. Okay. Uh, Joel 2 and 13, and rent your hearts and not your garment, and turn unto uh, the Lord your power, for he is gracious and, and merciful slow to anger Ooh. and of great kindness and repent him of the evil. Yep. Hey, so he's merciful. Mm -hmm. So being slow to anger, that means that he's considering all particular different avenues before he makes that his, his, his so-called first choice. Mm -hmm. You know? So when it comes to anger, when it comes to wrath, you don't make that your first option. You be understanding first. And one thing that <coughs> I noticed, man, through Apostle Tahar, when you look at the years and the different transitions of time and you look at those particular street speakers now, that is a great example on, 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 on how brothers should be in today's time. Mm -hmm. It's all about scripture, it's all about prophecy, and it's all about edification. Mm -hmm. You know? He's entreating, you know what I'm saying? He's entreating people with a kind ear first. Right. Then, of course, when somebody comes against you, in the book of Ezekiel, that's already written, to make your face hard against their face. Mm -hmm. But while men are at peace with you, the scripture says to do what? If at all possible, be at peace with all men. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know? Hey, so when you got these particular things going on, just, just do your best to try to keep the peace, man. Mm -hmm. and because that hinders your spiritual self when you allow anger to uh, uh, sit and simmer, you know, and boil itself up into a, a volcanic eruption. And now you have a mistake that you are about to make or have made that you got to apologize for. Mm -hmm. So give place unto that wrath in the first spot. Make it your last resort. Mm -hmm. You know, whether it's uh, communicating first, or whether it's giving yourself time first. Because those really are the, are the only two ways to overcome anger uh, mm -hmm. or overcome a, a, a difficult situation. That's right. You talk about it, which is communicable, or you give yourself time to not be so hot-headed about mm -hmm. it. That's right. You know, and because that helps you in your household as well, man. You know, when you, you know, so you get into those particular rages where you just want to spit, scream, holler, and put the wife beat on, or she want to get all up in your face and you'll know, be so fed up and now she want to scratch her eyeballs out. Mm -hmm. You know, it goes into that. Oh, or the issues that you have with your boss, you know? Y'all get into it in public, which shouldn't happen. Y you know what I'm saying? You saying things behind the scenes that you shouldn't say. That's right. You're jeopardizing your job. You gotta give place unto, unto these particular things because you, you're gonna be upset in this day to day. Oh, yeah. And this is um, Ecclesiasticus 10 and 18. Pride was not made for men, nor furious anger for them that are born of a woman. Yep. Break down for one. Yeah, I'm gonna read it again. Pride was not made for men, nor furious anger for them that are born of a woman. So we all came of a woman, but at the same time frame, according to the scriptures, we don't supposed to be angry. Mm -hmm. Okay, why? Because when you start to be angry, what happens? That anger takes control over you and you can literally destroy yourself. Mm -hmm. So it's not it's nothing wrong with getting angry, but you have to control that mindset when you're angry. Yeah. Hey, cause anger, anger makes you want to get back. Yeah. You know, you it make you, it make you want to clap, clap back. It makes you want to lick back. It make you say things you shouldn't. It make you do things you shouldn't. Yeah. You know. Got some more. That's, no, it. that's it. That's it. What you got? Twenty-nine, twenty-two. Yes, Bring it up. The book of Proverbs 29, verse 22. An, an angry man stir up strife. So an angry man stirreth up strife, man. Yeah. Right. Why? Because he's always, he's always in some SHIT. Right. I mean, pretty knee deep in it, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And a furious man abundant in transgression. Hey, so he's always abounded in transgression, mm -hmm. man. That's what he's doing. He's emotional. Because he's always emotional. He's emotional. And being emotional, man, that's a scary thing. Yeah, man. man. Hey, because you have, <clears throat> when you allow your emotions to take over you, you are no longer in control. Mm -hmm. When you have an objective in your mind out of anger and it's, it's being led by emotion, you are 
capable of anything, man. Mm -hmm. And it's not going to be the right thing. You're capable 100% of doing the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. So you got to give a place unto anger, give a place unto wrath, and just do what the scriptures say, you know? Uh, Let not a anger, you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 don't go to sleep angry because when you sum it up, that's all the scripture's really saying. It says, let not the sun go down upon thy wrath, but it's basically saying, don't go to sleep with this unresolved, man. That's right. Just deal with it. it. Or either come to a peaceful state of mind to where you say, tomorrow I'm going to handle this. Right. But you allow that anger to actually simmer down. Mm -hmm. And it'll help you in your day-to-day -day life, man, because, bro, this life, hey, I'm angry all day, every day. And you know, and that's really where this lesson kind of stems from because I, I'm trying to find a way or an outlet, yeah. you know? And you gotta have those particular outlets, whether it's videos, whether it's reading, whether it's chess, whether it's running, working whether out. it's working out, yeah. lifting weights, whether it's boxing, whether it's MMA, whether it's going for a long walk, whether it's, it's going for a long ride. You gotta find some particular avenue to release yeah. because we're so beat up on a regular basis mm -hmm. to where the only thing you wanna do is beat back. You know, anything backed into a corner eventually does what? Strikes back. Strikes back, man. Hey, but the Heavenly Father, he says, wait ye upon me until I rise up against the evildoers. It's easier said than done, but at the same time, he put those particular prophets out there to do what? Comfort ye one another with these words, right. pursuant to the scriptures. Okay. Bring it out, bring it out. This is, uh, this is Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruits thereof. That's right. And they that love it shall eat the fruits thereof. Meaning what? You are going to reap whatever you're spewing out. If you, hey, the scripture says what? That he that liveth by the sword shall die by the sword. That's right. That's right. He that speaks ill with his tongue is going to receive ill. That's right. He that speaks peaceably with his tongue, majority of the time he's going to receive peace. That's right. That's right. That's all the scripture summing up. Because people like to clap. And, 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 and brag and boast with the mouth when they really don't have any actions to back those particular things up. That's right. So when you're saying those particular things to somebody who can back it up, and then now you have put yourself in a bad situation. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. I got a, uh, I got a little more here. Yep. Okay. Uh, verse, verse 23, he said, "A man's pride shall bring him low, but but honor shall uphold the humble in spirit." That's right. And so a man's pride is going to bring him low. And why is that? Because the scriptures say pride coming before, before a great fall or pride coming before destruction, you know? Hey, but a man that is meek and of a contrite heart, right? That's right. Because that's whom the Heavenly Father is looking for. He shall be lifted up, not of his own will and might, but the Heavenly Father is going to bring him of a particular high esteem, man. Right. And it goes back into that particular balance of being able to control yourself, being able to control your emotions. Right. Because men like to be mighty, tough, and strong and mm -hmm. say, I ain't emotional, I ain't emotional, huh? you emotional as hell, man. We all have emotions. Yeah, how was shot whip, man? That's the shortest, the shortest scripture in the Bible, man. You know, yeah, how was shot whip. When the heavenly Father saw, you know, what I'm saying when he came down, he got emotional. You know, and when he was hearing the songs and hymns of the children of Israel, when he redeemed them, you know, he came down. He was emotional because he was well pleased in that. So you, you know, so you have emotions, but you have to give place unto your emotions. Hey, and then if you just think about the characteristics of um, Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, they're long suffering and they're slow to anger. Yeah. Okay, but when you're in this flesh, it's hard to do so. Right. So we're supposed to be godly men, and if we're actually that new creature now, so then therefore we have to pattern our behavior such as Yahweh Shah right. and the Father Yahweh. Right. Yeah. Hey, going to the precept the brother Lamar was bringing out on how. You know what I'm saying? It's in the power of the tongue. Yeah. A, a great majority of the time, when you listen first versus speak, the conflict is already resolved. That's right. Now, people, the scriptures say that every man's way is right in his own eyes. And that goes for women, too. Right. You know, they speak up right. before they even know it. Yeah. Now we've got conflict. Now we've got turmoil. Now we've got chaos. Now who's going to be the, the, the bigger man to, uh, to resolve it? Right. A lot. You know what I'm saying? The humble. Right. But a lot of times, during that time of anger, nobody wants to step up. Right. Until until what? It, either the anger simmers down, and now we can have a dialogue. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. Hey, because right. even on the job, we we have a lot of issues with the different departments, the, the, uh, communicating what they're doing to the to the other uh, departments, and everybody's doing their own thing. And I, I I told them, I said communication is the is 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 the barrier of all conflict. 
it's like it's, it's right there. When you got conflict or you got misunderstandings, communication goes back into the into the root cause, man. Mm -hmm. Just uh, a quick example, our forefather Ezra, you know, he's pretty much he's pretty much uh, questioning the same thing, you know, like how how people are, you know, some really the greatest people on this earth, but at the same time, look how these other nations are, are over us. So he was getting angry in the spirit, and the angel Uriel had to talk to him and calm him down. And this is a, just an example. Okay. The second answer is 6 okay. and 55. All this have I spoken for thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. As for the other people which also come to Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle, and hast likened the abundance of them unto a drop that fallen from a vessel. And now, O Lord, behold, these heathen, which have ever been reputed as nothing, have begun to be lords of us and to devour us. So as we start coming to the spirit, like in Ecclesiastes, the first chapter, like he increased the knowledge, increased the sorrow. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. so as of now, we see, we know who we are, and we see these pasty ass Edomites over us, man. Right. These Moabites, all these different other nations <laughs> over us because of the wrongdoings of our people breaking the laws. That's right. So Ezra, he was upset in the spirit. So the, uh, the angel Uriel had to talk to him. It's another example in Second Ezra, it's the fifth chapter. I'll jump down to the uh, verse 32. And said unto me, hear me, and I will instruct thee, hearken to the thing that I say, I shall tell thee more. And I said, speak on, my Lord. Then said he unto me, thou art sore trouble in mind for Israel's sake. Love is thou that people better than he that made them? Mm -hmm. And I said, no, Lord, but of very grief have I spoken. For my reins pain me every hour while I labor to comfort me in the way of the Most High and to seek out part of his judgment. Yep. And continual grief makes you angry. That's right. It saddens That's you, man. Right. It's an affliction. It's a burden. Beautiful, boy. And, you know, hey, hey, you don't get no plan in that. Yeah. That was, right. that was right. nice there. Right. You know what I'm saying? What well, is it? What you ask for? Yep. Come on, bring right. it up. Proverbs 15, verse 1. A soft answer turned away wrath. Mm -hmm. But grievous words stir up anger. Yep. So a soft answer turn away wrath, man. Mm -hmm. So if you if, 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 if you want to try to strive for less chaos in your life, especially chaos that you can't prevent, mm -hmm. that you have control over, things that you don't have control over, it is what it is. Pray to the Heavenly Father, you know what I'm saying, ease up that particular burden, man. That's right. Hey, but, you know, since the top portion again, read it for me. A soft answer turned away wrath. So a soft answer turned away wrath. So put in attempt first to try to give that soft answer. That's right. Now, if you get a particular conflict, you know, and, 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 and it's, it's unavoidable, by all means, execute your spiritual, you know what I'm saying, knowledge. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, because because even wisdom is going to show you how to maneuver like that. That's right. That's hey, right. Because, because it's a way to be respectfully rude, man. Mm -hmm. It's right. a way to be abruptly disrespectful. Right. But at the same time, it's like, Okay, mm -hmm. and no, 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 nothing else needs to be said after that. That's right. You know, it's understood. It's understood. You know, but just do all things through wisdom. That's right, all right brother. This is a uh, Proverbs twenty-five and twenty-eight. He that hath no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls. So he that had no no rule over his own spirit. So you gotta be able to control it, man. That's right. Easier said than done, mm -hmm. but when you put up the e the efforts to exercise it, you can build and build and build and build, man. That's right. And hey, last one for me. Ecclesiasticus 21 and 26. The heart of fools is in their mouth, mm -hmm. but the mouth of the wise is in their heart. So don't be a fool, man. Hey, because the scripture says what? A fool uttereth what? His fucking thoughts. Uh, he uttereth all his mind. Mm -hmm. So don't be a fool. Yeah. Don't be what the scripture says that you are when you're just doing all that babbling, man. That's right. Nobody, hey. And you let your thoughts control your emotions, That's and right. don't let your emotions control your thoughts. Baby, can I slide? You got three stuff? Yeah, the follow behind all you. All right. And then we're going to end with your last one. This is uh, Proverbs chapter 18. Verse 7, a fool's mouth is his destruction. Right, your mouth is your destruction. Why? Because, hey, the scripture you read, what, life and death uh, comes from the fucking tongue, uh, man. That's right. Go ahead, that's bro. That's right. And his lips are the snare of his soul. Right, right, right. So the lips are, because what? Your lips basically declares what your mind is thinking. Now, if you don't have any self-control regarding that, then shame on you. And at the same time frame, this is an avenue of destruction. Now, according to the scriptures, we're supposed to be long-suffering and slow to anger, man. 
okay, non-emotional about this shit that's going on in the world from day to day. Now, that's easier said than done, but we have the protocol on how to do so. Hey, look at our big brother, you have a shot. You don't think he want his lick back? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Look, you know what I'm saying? Look what they uh, did to him when he was on this earth, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. If he can wait, we can wait too. That's man. it, bro. That's right. That's it. Right. To to uh, back you up, real real quick one. Uh, Proverbs three and five. Trust in Yahweh with all thy heart. Hey, and, and the ultimate trust is by, hey, the ultimate trust is by doing what the scripture says. Um, you know. Huh. And lean not unto thy own understanding. Right, because when you're emotional, when you're leaning to the left, when you're leaning to the right, you're emotional. Now you're not doing what Yahweh Shah is saying through the scriptures. Right. All right, so follow the protocol, man. Stick to the script. That's right. I'm going to end with you. Mm -hmm. <coughs> this is Proverbs chapter 16, verse 32. He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty. Mm. And he that ruling his spirit, then he that taketh they city. And so with that being said, a most side with the edification was made. Until next time, we want to say shalom. Shalom. shalom.